forward. My name is Kasia Hevelt, and I'm a data scientist at Codilime. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to share some exciting work we've been doing at Codilime, which is private Slack chatbot, integrated with LLM based on our corporate resources. Before we jump in, let's go through our agenda so we know what to expect. The first thing we'll discuss is the project idea, which serves as the foundation for everything that follows. Next, we will move on the topic of large language models. Then we delve into the LangChain framework, a crucial part of our project. After that, we'll uncover the architecture of our project, guiding you through the layers of its design and functionality. Finally, to bring it all together, we will demonstrate a live coding session where you will see how everything that we have discussed fits together and operates in practice. I would like, you, I I would like to briefly remind you of the evolution of language models. Although these technologies are not new, starting with the appearance of the first language models in 2018, it was only with the release of ChatGPT by OpenAI at the end of 2022 that they gained particular attention. This was mainly due to the model's ability to understand and respond to questions in natural language. This innovation sparked a wave of creation of various applications, chatbots, AI assistants, which inspired us to create the product we are presenting now. Our project, the private Slack chatbot, is unique for several reasons. Firstly, the private in the name is not coincidental. We are aware that OpenAI collects the data and uses it to train its model. We decided on a private solution because the data we plan to use to train our custom bot are sensitive data. This data come from our confluence where we store information about company benefits, regulations, and employees. In accordance with our information security policy and ISO regulations, we cannot share them. Secondly, we decided to integrate our chatbot with Slack because it's a tool that we use every day. This means that our chatbot will be available directly on our communication platform, facilitating access, access to necessary information without having to leave Slack interface. We'll discuss now our chatbot's core component, the large language model. An LLM is a special type of machine learning model that is trained on huge data sets. The job of this model is to generate responses to various tasks related to natural language processing, also known as NLP. This task includes generating text, answering questions, translating text, and many others. In the past, to solve each NLP task, we created separated models. For instance, one model was used to recognize the customer intent and another to generate keywords. Now, we use a single model, the LLM, which perform multiple tasks. How is it possible? Well, the key idea behind the LLM is that the model is trained to predict the next word, or rather token, in a given context, enabling it to understand language structure and provide coherent responses. Vital for our chatbot. Langchain. Langchain is a library designed to empower developers in creating applications driven by large language models. It simplifies the integration of LLMs with other data sources, like the internet or personal files, facilitating the creation of application by chaining multiple commands. Why did we choose LangChain? LLMs, despite their power, can be complicated to directly utilize. LangChain offers a streamlined interface to effortlessly integrate them. Also, LLMs are trained on vast text and code data sets, but are limited on their training data. Connecting them with external data via LangChain augments their capabilities, making application even more robust and flexible. LangChain key modules include prompts, 
model, memory indices, agents, and chain. So how does it function? Essentially, we are aug augmenting our LLM's knowledge base, as these models don't inherently have access to specific data. Basically, we are fitting our LLM, which is, again, a general purpose model. We are fitting it with our custom context. Here's a basic outline of the architecture to implement this system. This architecture is composed into two primary components. The initial component involves the extraction of data from our local files to the knowledge base of our local GPT solution. The subsequent component enables user interaction with the knowledge base created during the initial step. In examining the first step, the basic concept is straightforward. We aim to, exact, to extract the data from our local file, which will load in appropriate formats such as TXT or PDF. These files are then divided into smaller segments given that extensive documents cannot be fully ingested by the LLM at once. We then compute embeddings on these segments, transforming words into numerical vector representation. These embeddings help us understand and group words by their similarity. Finally, we create a knowledge base. For our solution, ChromaDB is utilized for vector storage. Vector databases are designed to efficiently storage and search these embeddings. They help in quickly finding similar items. Once the initial stage is complete, we move to the second component. Now, a user can pose a question in natural language. We compute embeddings for the user's query, then execute a semantic search to identify and rank potential answers within our knowledge base. Subsequently, we utilize the LLM to generate the final response. The heart of this process is using a local language model with no need for external API or connection to other application. We employ a model known as Flan T5 base for our solution. Let's dive into our code demonstration. You can find the code base link below. We'll walk through it and I hope it will clarify the entire solution for you. Firstly, we load our data. Langchain has built-in tools for this. I'm pulling data from our Confluence, which is a limited data set just for this demonstration. Once loaded, we obtain a Langchain document object. We can then review the content of this page. I've selected first 500 words for reference and its metadata. Given that large language models have token limits, we need to split our data into chunks. Though our documents only spans one page, it is still too lengthy for the LLM to process in one go. Thankfully, again, Langchain Text Splitter tool comes to our aid. I've chosen the recursive character Text Splitter because it contains individual characters. For chunking, we need to set chunk size and chunk overlap. For instance, if the text variable exceeds 26 characters, which is our chunk size, we should get two chunks. The overlap between these chunks is defined by the characters shares at their boundaries. For our confluence documents, we choose to split it into chunks of 1,500 characters with an overlap of 150 characters. We did this to ensure compatibility with the various models, each having different token limitations. And now after splitting, we have 107 chunks. Now let's focus on creating embeddings. To help you grasp the concept of embeddings, let's open Hugging Vase play Playground. Hugging Face is a platform where you can explore various pre-trained models, including those for tasks like sentiment analysis, keywords extraction, and embeddings.
for instance, to determine the most relevant address for Codiline Warsaw office. Let's ask a question. What is the Codiline Warsaw address? As Codilime has multiple offices, let's give it two options. Option one, Krencova 5. Option two, Let's leave the third default option, which is completely unrelated with our question. And now, let's compute the similarity. As you can see, we've gotten the highest results for Warsaw Office, as expected. Back to our code. It's time to compute our embeddings and deposit them in Chroma database. Langchain, being ever so resourceful, furnishes the complete implementation for this. Our choice of Chroma DB is due to its in-memory functioning, aligning perfectly with our expectation for this solution. As the embeddings are computed and stored in the desired directory, this process might take a moment. Once this is achieved, I will inquire what is Codistar program. The method similarity search will then retrieve the top three most relevant documents from our vector store. This is the moment where the first, first chunk starts and ends. And here is the second chunk. You can see it's still related um, to the question. The article on our confluence about Codistar's program is quite long. That's why it is taking more than one chunk. You can see that the information about Codilime star program is still included in the third chunk. All right, let's move to question answering part, where we start posing questions. Again, Langchain supports us with retrieval QA. This part of code is to show some behind the scenes. So let's skip it for now. Let's concentrate now on the core of the solution, which is LLM. Our selected LLM, the FLAN T5 base model. This model is not the best. It is not on the top of the leaderboard in Hugging Face, which is basically a rank for LLMs. Moreover, FLAN T5 base is relatively small, but for our solution, we do not need a big model with a lot of training data. We simply need a model which understands English language, which is able to formulate the answer. We do not need the best model available. Those big, amazing models are trained with huge amount of data, which we, don't need, we do not need for this solution. We will be providing the context in the prompt anyway. We don't need the internal LLM's knowledge. To help the LLM to formulate the final answer, we are providing prompt template. Those models are trained with a lot of external data, articles, Wikipedia, books, etc. We do not really want our LLM to use this knowledge. Hence, we can tune it a little by formulating a template which will sort, sort of force our focus on our resources. This prompt template will be included in our final prompt to LLM, which we'll shortly have a look how it's going to look like. Once we have all the components, we can use retrieval QA and pass our LLM, our chain type stuff, which will stuff our LLM with all the context found in our vector store. We are also passing some quarks, prompt template, and retrieving it from our Chroma DB. And that's it. We can now start chatting. Let's ask about requirements for 
looks met card, one of our benefits. We can see the prompt which is going to LLM and the final answer. General rules for using LuxMed services, etc. There are two more things I would like to cover. Our model parameters. We have temperature set to zero, ensuring consistent responses, but the higher temperature would also mean the answer may vary. Next parameter, max length to re regulate the output of token length. Okay, and the behind the scenes part. We specify callback class to retrieve the whole prompt, which will be going straight to LLM. Please have a look at the prompt, use provided content, otherwise do not make up the answer. And it starts with our prompt template, which we provided before. And next, we are providing the whole content found, content found in ChromaDB. You can test, you can test the, this prompt using hugging face and pi pasting the entire prompt in the playground. We integrated the entire solution into Slack. Now let's pose the same question there, anticipating consistent and accurate responses in line with our expectations. Let's pose a few questions in our Slack chatbot. Let's start with, what is Cody Star's recognition program? Cody Star's recognition program is an award from you to you for people who stand out in the company in a special way. This is correct. Tell me about the technical requirements in one of our projects, which is Maple Project. Python, PyTest, etc. So we know how to recruit people for this project with the special skills. Let's ask the same question we asked already in our little demonstration. Provide the rules for using the LuxMec card. And we got the general rules for this benefit. And the last one, tell me about the process of inviting to webinars. And we got detailed instructions step by step how to prepare the webinars. And with that, we conclude our session. Thank you for watching this presentation.